Hi, here we are today in my car, and in my car I have IO Play installed. Uh, this is the IO Play console uh, mounted on my dashboard. I'm just going to start my engine. You can hear that my radio from my car has come into play. What did you make of that royal wedding over the weekend? Where and with me today, in my car, I have um, my iPhone. And I would like to connect my iPhone to my car to make and receive telephone calls and also stream music from the iPod side of my iPhone. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my iPhone's Bluetooth. I'm going to press the settings button here on the main home page and I'm just going to go to my Bluetooth menu. Turn my Bluetooth on on my iPhone and I have searched for devices and found IO Play. So I'm now going to uh, connect to IO Play. Ask me for a PIN code. I'm going to put in the PIN code for IO Play and click connect. And as you can see here, the telephone icons on my control console have flashed and are now illuminated to indicate that I have now connected the iPhone successfully to my car for hands-free calls. So I'm going to go back to the home page. Um, the iPhone uh, currently is not A2DP Bluetooth, so Bluetooth stereo. So there's no way we can just stream music from the iPod side of the iPhone into IO Play through the Bluetooth stereo channel. So we have developed this, which is our I.O. Bluetooth adapter uh, for Apple products. This works with all generations of Apple iPod that carry the standard 30-pin Apple connector, also including, of course, the iPhone. So I'm now just going to plug this into my iPhone. And uh, go straight from my iPod and press play. The iPod side now of my iPhone has now connected into all my car speakers front and rear. I do have a degree of control here. I can turn the volume up and down. As you can see there. I can pause the music. Uh, that's just pause the music and muted everything in the car until I'm ready for music again. And I can push the button again. And I've got music again. If however I decide I'd like to maybe go back to my radio, push and hold the centre button, I've gone back to radio. And when I'm ready to go back to my iPod in my iPhone again, a quick push here, brings back in my iPod of my iPhone. I can also skip tracks on my iPhone with a quick push here. And again, I can skip backwards or, for backwards or forwards, uh, either way. Now, if I receive a telephone call whilst I'm streaming music from my iPhone driving down the road, I can simulate that actually by pressing and holding down the green telephone icon that activates last number redial. The iPhone now makes its phone call to... Welcome to the O2 Pay and Go top-up service. Getting a treat from... And at the end of the phone call, when I end the call, as you can see, the iPod side of my iPhone just seamlessly comes straight back into play. There are a couple of other features um, that IO Play offers me whilst I'm in a phone call with my iPhone, and that is call secrecy or call privacy. Call secrecy is where I can put the kit in a mode where the caller can't hear me, but I can hear the caller. In a phone call, a quick push on this button will emit two beeps across the line every three seconds, telling me the caller can't hear me until I push the button again and it removes it from that mode and the caller can then hear me. If however I give a long push on this centre button, it would transfer the call from the car speakers to the handset. And then a quick push here transfers the call from my handset back to the car, initiating obviously the call privacy mode.